We get to asked a lot to ask other doctors this question. Let me ask you the same thing. It, when someone gets diagnosed with cancer, what are some of the first things they should do? Because there's often a, a panic and, and a sense of fear that sets in. I'll be honest with you, our diagnostics are horrible. When you're diagnosed with cancer, uh, in the first place, you've been procrastinating. You've, been, you've known there's something going wrong. You've had some change in your stool habits. You've had some change. You've had some pain you haven't been telling anybody about. Okay? Mm -hmm. There's some things been going on that you didn't tell anybody about. And because of our cancer treatment in America, we run scared. We don't want anybody to know we got it. They've been after me for 12 years to biopsy my prostate. Get out of here. Uh, last time, I, my PSA is always up a little bit. Probably the poorest test for, for prostate cancer. Okay? Uh, before I went to prison, it went sky high. I brought it down by myself, nutritionally. Mm -hmm. Okay? But uh, <laughs> uh, I thought I had a urologist friend, probably the biggest enemy I got. Uh, last time I saw him, he said, well, your prostate's a little bit boggy. He said, uh, you, uh, you, you should, I'll schedule for an ultrasound or biopsy in two weeks. I said, no, you won't. Well, he said, I'm the doctor. I said, yeah, but this is my body. He said, well, I've been a doctor longer than you have. I said, yeah, but I'm older than you are. You're not going to biopsy my prostate. Well, his, his resident called me two days before I was supposed to have the biopsy and said, you know, you're scheduled for a biopsy. The after tomorrow, I said, I hope you're prepared for it. He said, what do you mean? I said, I'm not showing up. You better be prepared for you getting a biopsy. I said, besides that, I had my brother check my prostate, and he says it's no different than it was 10 years ago. He said, well, what's your brother know about prostates? I said, well, he was chief of urology at the University of Chicago for a year. He said, well, that's what I am as chief resident. I said, yeah, but he finished. <laughs> I, don't, I had patience with him at all. Uh. No. But they're all the same way. We... Do you know the, the prostate has a nice thick capsule around it? You punch a hole in that and you just let a cat out of the bag, you can't put it back in. Hmm. The only thing worse than that is a breast lump. Why? The most brutal test and the most ungodly test in medicine is a, is a mammogram. Why is that? If you, had a, if you had a tumor, you're going to spread it all over the place, just mash it. The way you prepare a lady for a mammogram is lay her under the garage door and close the garage door on her. They're 60% accurate, and the amount of damage we do is not worth the information we're getting. I, I think our diagnostics are horrible. Okay? Uh, there's a lot of things you can do that be short of, of punching holes in people. If you're so interested in making a diagnosis, and by the way, the diagnosis, the, the, the tissue diagnosis does not change the way we treat it all. Okay. Because generally what happens, the doctor goes back in the back room and punches the name in the computer, and the computer decides what protocol they're going to use because they got a study program going on. All right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, here's what burns me, okay? Patients will get surgery, they'll get chemotherapy, they'll get radiation, then they come see me. Give me a break. Because why? What are those, what well, are those other the, things? Well, because the do? medical profession has made all the money they can make on them. They're dying. They give, mm -hmm. them, they give them three months to live, and now the, the patient is trying to find help. 